Hello everyone, welcome to Lethal Lab. Today I have liquid nitrogen, probably the most coldest liquid in the world. I have a bunch of flowers. This is a pink rose, a red rose. You can see these, see how beautiful they are. And today I'm going to put these in liquid nitrogen. I don't know what is this. This is some yellow flower. Marigold, this is hibiscus. We call it China rose. It is uh, some kind of hibiscus. And I'm going to put all these flowers in liquid nitrogen and let's see what happens to them. So let's start with it. I'm keeping them aside and we'll put these flowers one by one. Liquid nitrogen is super cool, so do not try with, with bare hands and uh, use safety gloves like this. These are cryo gloves. Okay. These are cryo gloves and always use safety precautions. This is my cryo cam container and I'm going to pour this liquid nitrogen. This is going to boil as the temperature of the liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius and this container I am pouring it in has temperature 30 degrees Celsius nearly and that's why it is boiling. This boiling will stop after some time because it is going to cool the surface. I can pour these in my beaker. I think probably the beaker may not break. See, boiling has stopped. This is gonna take some time. I'm going to put the red rose first. is boiling very rapidly you can see the boiling and here we go okay here I am going to break this listen carefully listen and the rose shattered into pieces and here we go you can see how super cool is this and this is not cooled properly so that's why you can see this not break now we can break them you can put another pose okay so this is again boiling rapidly and here we go okay let's put this hibiscus there and see what happens i should use my tongue to remove this hibiscus because it is super cool and you can listen how fast it is breaking let's break this apart we are just breaking those flowers here it is time for the marigold here it goes and i am cutting it so let's see what happens to these marigold flowers I cannot take this out because it is just like fried in oil and you can see this some liquid nitrogen also dropping from it and let's see what happens to this this is also very cool okay and let's wow how cool is this okay let's break this marigold oh it is so cool it can it has some liquid nitrogen oh, oh. It's so cool, it's so cool. I touched it with my hand and I got a frostbite here, just here. Okay, and let's break this. I am putting this and let's see what happens to this flower. And we have wow. Let's see in one second we got our flower fried. And this is very cool. I have to be careful. And let's see. Let's see how it breaks. As there is a low level of liquid nitrogen, that's why these are not uh, properly dipped. That's why. And uh, you can see this. This is also breaking. This is this is also breaking. I am going to put these flowers in this liquid nitrogen. Okay, and also this flower goes in. And I am cooking these flowers like uh, 
in oil cooking some french fries in oil this is sounding like this here is our cooked flour this is our fried flour yellow flour let's take a bite from this i am just kidding don't take a bite it is just super cool and here we go and this is set up let's break them together okay let it be i am going to break this let's see how this takes and you can listen to the sound wow this is like milk bar chocolate let's see what happens with it this is like just uh, i am thinking this is a plastic flower okay, i bought the plastic flower you can see till now these are cool and i can also break them let's put another marigold here you can see and you can hear the sound how it is going to break i am going to put all these liquid nitrogen left here to here and to put all these here again we have finished and i broke all those flowers apart cooked them properly with liquid nitrogen we can form to take a bite